So basically guys, this is uh, the new camp. I'll just show you all around. As you can see, I've got a ridge, a ridge post there, from there to there, which is tied up at the minute. What I'm looking at doing today is putting all these rafters on. That's why I call them rafters, because I'm a carpenter my trade anyway. So all these logs there, I'll be lying on top of that ridge overhanging and then straight down and what I'm going to do where this lean to is keep this just a little bit higher and then build a wall here from there to there or I may even build it from off this post to that post and just screw it straight to so there's the fire that we had last time and our fire wall got a little seat there that I picked up the other week from the other side of the uh, park and these are the tools for today basically not so primitive impact screwdriver Makita 18 volt 5AH some screwdriver bits some screws an assortment of 3 inch 2 inch some nails my gloves and my axe and I've got some other bits and pieces in my uh, tactical 72 hour pack so what I'm going to do guys is find somewhere to stick this camera <coughs> and uh, leave it filming whilst I start doing some building and um, I'll be back to you shortly. There's the dog, I'll just introduce you to him. Hank, Hank, who's this? That's me uh, two year old, well he's two years in, um, on the 22nd of Jan, African, South African Mastiff, 13 stone, amazing dog cracking temperament but he's at that age now that he just wants to pick everything up run around with it and chew it so uh, I might end up tying him up later because I know what he'll do he'll be pulling them logs off me while I'm trying to put them up so right then let's uh, sort the stand out on this and uh, we'll leave you ticking for a little while I hope you enjoy today's video let's just adjust this yeah, and guys, I ain't very well, so if I sound a bit blocked up, I've had the flu for about five weeks, and I'm only just getting off, getting over it, so it's not, it's not been grace. Right, so, what we'll do is we'll focus in on the lean-to, and uh, we'll put it, I think, over here. Oh, That's it. Have a way there, Hank. Thanks a bunch. Oh, guys, I'm just going to try and get this camera up a little bit higher. So, sorry about the moving around. It's been a while since I've used this, so it's a little bit, can be a little bit tricky. Oh, we'll leave it like that now. I think that'll do us. Let's just tighten this back up. that a little bit more Oops, it eyes out. I think that'll do us for a minute. So let's get to work. Oh, 
up on the way. This, this is just the show packs that I bought from the building merchants. Cut it down, put a little bit of rubber on there for some grip. Sharpen it up and I use this for all the sort of dirty heavy work. But I've, uh, I've got a real nice axe which is in the pack. Well, I won't be using yes. And also made a little sheaf, leather sheaf there for it. A little bit of power, power cord to hold it around. That's it. start by doing is putting these rafters on, screwing them to the bottom post and then spacing them at the top. In fact, I don't think I'm going to be able to wear these gloves just to use this screwdriver for the minutes. Never seem to feel very comfortable. Is that still filming? Yep, we're on. <sighs> Get the screwdriver a bit size. Maybe a case of bits. There we go. Right there. It's even got a torch on it. Look at the D-Lice. Grace. Screws. Now you're probably thinking why am I screwing this together? But look, I want something I want to build here. And I want it to be in a few years' time. Um, I normally bring my nephew over here. I did build a TP tent, tent over there not long ago, but um, well actually it was about two and a half years ago. But basically what happens is it's just started falling apart. So uh, I'm looking at building this lean to now. And I'm gonna wrap some some plastic around it once all the rafters on in and just fill the hole top with debris and logs and branches and all sorts of rubbish. That way up the fire hang. I did want to go a little bit bigger for this side. I've got some over there, but I don't really want to start cutting them now. Let's have a look what we've got there. This is a bit better, is it? So 
time. Uh, uh, come here. So as you can see, I just wanted to use something a little bit bigger. So a three inches diameter for the end. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna screw that to that tree going up, that tree going up the back and then take the support out at the bottom and then start drop, dropping the other rafters on. Um, got some sort of bits and pieces of plastic from the Astoid. Um, it's like damp proof course. Once you put that around, hello baba. Once you put that around, it, uh, it'll be really waterproof. So you'll be able to come over in the winter, any time when it's raining, sit inside with the dog, have a fire, have a chill. Look at all this. This is like the gift that keeps on giving. Hair, hair, hair. More, more, and more of it. Any it, mice? Huh? Any Hank? Good lads. Right, so we want a six inch. Six inch for that. Leave. There we go. Six inch screw. So guys, I actually switched the camera off then for a second. But it's back on now anyway. support these corners let's get this lug to stand on And start putting the all the supports on there. What are you crying for? I got some smaller screws for this. That's a mad baba. What are you crying for? Huh? What are you crying for? Huh? You want a stick? Yeah. Got to read the for a second. Maybe not. got that so we'll put them all on screw the bottoms up and then we'll level through the tops to the gap and we'll put the tops on We have got some nails as well with us. So I don't quite like that. Let's turn that that way. Mm. Oh well, it's not going to be a piece of art, but it's going to work.
you doing? Huh? Yeah. Some more screws, don't bang your head. So yeah, you can get a feeling how big it's going to be. And the reason why I haven't gone straight to the floor is because we can get some benches along the back of here, build a house, sleeping bag, and I can have the dog up there, off the floor. But there's loads of room from here. Nah. So we could even get the fire a little bit closer at some stage. for there though. Oh, I don't like that one. That's too flimsy. This is a good one. This is a real good one. It's a big one. That's a little bit too big. I won't have to put them.
Guys, you can't beat these drills. These impact screwdrivers, you just cannot beat them. I bought a spare battery with me so, today, but um, six inch screws, seven inch screws, straight in. No drilling, you can just screw timbers straight together. Come on, away. Good lad. So it's starting to take form now. Have a bit of shape coming. That's it. Might have to cut some lugs. And cleave. What's this? What's this? You don't want that one, that's rotten. That's not gonna last. We'll get rid of that. We'll start, so. Let's get this one on. Whoa. It's nice and strong. Yep, that'll do us. That'll do us for that. A six inch screw. Nice big six inches. In fact, I think what I might do there, I'm not screw that one today. I should hold that in there, no to point. And don't touch that camera. Come away from the camera, come on. Yeah. I just want to play as you go. Just make sure that's level, more or less. Be a roundabout there. <laughs> that's about level, so that's good. Just double check guys from the back so if you can actually see exactly what I'm doing from there. And it might be a little bit far away but Yep, you can see. Let's take these out now that we're supporting the rafters. Drop them there because we're gonna need them. May even 
may even put these, put these and drop them against the tree there. Or knock them in. See if we can knock them in against that tree. I'll leave that for the time being. Hank, come away from the camera. Come on. Mr. Pipeful. Yeah. Yeah, sis. Got it. Screw that against there. Get a load of small screw out with this, I think. I think what I'm going to have to do is get up there a little bit higher, centralise that, screw a little bit more. Let's put that away, we don't want to be losing them. That's nice and strong. So like I say, the reason why I picked this spot is we've got the four upright trees. So we've got plenty of, uh, plenty of support. I'm sure this is gonna be in another four or five years once it's built, at least. And the other thing is as well, if it's all screwed up and the school kids come over in the six weeks holiday, so by chance, because you know they get everywhere in the six weeks holiday over the park. They ain't going to be able to rip it down. Looking for a suitable log to get across here. I've got to make a decision whether I'm going to want an angle and fix all the bench into this this uprise. I mean, I've got all this room. There's plenty of room in there. So. Stay there for a second. More screws, what we got there? Some more screws, six inch. So I've fixed this frame together. I'll get the camera guys and I'll show you all the uh, the back of it round up where we fixed it. Catch your nose down on that screw. You dastard. You dastard. What are you doing?
see guys that's nice and solid what we'll do is we'll trim off all the other pieces afterwards when we put the uh, bow saw together all the sides yep nice and solid what I'm going to do is bring you guys a little bit closer here yeah, I think so I'll stick this surf the time being and uh, let's bring you a little closer so hello Hank say hello yeah who's this let's just uh, level this up a little bit working in fact I'm going to put you back in the spot I had you in the first place because that's just not not working there I've got to work this stand out this pod for this camera but six inch screws left That's not going to work. That's not straight enough. Let's get the saw, guys. I'm going to cut some of these logs now. Some of the other ones I want for certain areas and to build someone up to the back of Now this is a right tool. This is the Silco. This is the smaller version. You can get some really big, really big. Come out the way, mate really big saws but this is great works on the back cuss really sharp you like to be by me come on
Go on. Out the way. So this is the only thing the dog gets in the way. Let's put it out the way for a second. Clean these ends off. Bit long, I'll cut this off after I'll screw it up. Oh. I won't get too out of this. <sighs> oh, a screw, six inch screw in there. So, so far so good. Straight over to one. What we'll do is we'll cut this out. We can have this as over overhang here, and the tarp can sit over there and drop down the front when we spend our our all nighters there. Let's just get this out of the way first before we put any more on. Uh. Well, watch yourself, Hank. This is going to come down.
So what I'm trying to do here guys is just get a nice solid structure for the plastic to be wrapped around and we haven't got to worry about throwing anything on there, it being too heavy and collapsing while we're in there. And the other thing is with it as well, what I'm trying to do is use um, green timber that's fell down, logs that have fell down um, with the storm that we had a few weeks ago and use them for the supports. Because there's a lot of rotten timber on the floor but I just want to be able to throw that on the top after but for the main supports and the strength we need green timbers. So back to it. Hank, that's bad for you. Chewing that off. To the trees to give this a bit more support because once you've got stuff on out, I mean, it's quite strong, it'll take more waste. And I'm nearly 14 stone, so that's quite strong. I think what I'm going to do here guys is get a tape measure out, cut them logs over there, instead of trying to get them on top, they're just too heavy. Not easy. We'll cut one of these and we'll use it for uh, a length and measure it against the rest of them. I know we're doing this. So, we're looking at about 153 inches. Let's see what we can find.
I say guys, what I think I'm going to do, it's quite late, I think it's about 1, 1.30, 2 o'clock now, so we've got a couple of hours, two and a half hours before it starts getting dark. So I'm probably going to get the rest of this frame today, measure it for the plastic. Um, next time I come, I'm going to start building all the side walls. So we'll have all these side walls in, all these side walls in, uprights, and uh, around the back, and we're going to screw to all four corners. So that'll give us a nice solid, nice solid frame. Um, like I say, I think I'll measure it up, but next time I come back, I'll wrap the plastic around it and I'm going to get a staple gun, staple it to it down the sides, and then we're just going to cover it in debris, really, and just keep on filling it. There's loads of stuff over here, loads of rubbish, loads of leaves, soil, branches. So that's not a problem, and there's plenty of firewood. Right, another one in there, and I think we're alright for that then, we'll stop looking at the side walls, get a cup of coffee on, get a small fire on the go. Where's my axe? Yeah, I'm not sure if you'll see this down there guys, but I'm just going to have to get the axe. I'll clean some of these sides off. Oh, there it is. So these branches off and these logs staying out, and I'll be back in a sec.
just going to screw the final one. As you can see, it's looking quite good. That's not very good. That's Makita Tungsten tip bits for you. See that? Shirt straight off. I haven't even used that that long. That's no good. We've got a spare one in that. Screw all the tops now. Uh, let's get this over. I think we're going to need that to stand on. We've got a, a little bag of tricks. Screws. Screws. Ah. Oh, these are hot here taken back out if I don't get them in the right place the first time. Oh. This one. Because I once all this is fixed together, we can punch on the sides in the back. And get some plastic around here. I think we'll have this fire a little bit closer, huh? get some heat into the hide. No, into the shelter, I should say. I think these are too long there now for that one. Get the big ones these screws and I think we need to use the smaller ones for these
うわちねえ。So the big case will come out at the end of the drill. Sticking in there. This bit's not quite long enough. Nice one for each of that one. Six inch, sorry, that's a bit long. A bit wide, this branch is out. So that's that guys, that's that, I think it looks pretty good, pretty strong, we've got this overhang there, so at some point we can have a forward there, cover this up and it'll stop the rain from getting that wet so we'll get some heat in there, but yeah I'm happy with that, now we're on, just need to have a quick look at the time. Ten past two, so we haven't done too bad. What we're going to do now is we're going to measure a timber from there to there, and let it run over a little bit, and screw it to on both sides, and then we're going to put some uprights into here and into the side of there. Rather heavy. So I think what we'll do we'll drop it off and we'll get it over there. This is what we're going to do guys, we're going to screw that to that, there. We want something to lift it up off the ground, or we screw it up. Just wondering now, that's just a little bit too thick. That's a five inch lock there. We've got six inch screws. I'm not sure if we need that kind of extreme thickness there. We might get away with something a little bit. A bit thinner.
you want to do is just create this off the ground a little bit. We'll screw this end and then we'll lift that end up to suit after I think. See what we're doing now, can't you? Hank, move out the way. Move. I bring this a little bit closer. The dog's just knocked it over. Sorry about that, guys. When you get a 13 stone mastiff running around, this is what you get. So basically, that was, that's what we've done. We've got that that length going across there, a length going across the top to catch the rafters that are going down. And now what we'll do is we'll screw some uprights to secure the back. But I think we're just going to have the sides first, and then we'll find some uprights. So, just bear with me, guys. So I get this camera right. It's really un uneven ground here, so I just want to try and find somewhere that it will stay up. In fact, that's not a bad little spot. Right next to the fire. <clears throat> yep, that's not too bad. So that's it. That's not so strong. We'll get some lengths down there, screwing to there again. <coughs> That's not too bad at all. Let's get the sides in. What we got it out. In fact, what we could do is we could build another length there. That's not long enough. Hank, don't you dare. could do is stick another one and up there That's. screw that there yep what we'll do is we'll come around the side and we'll drop that there Yeah, good lad, isn't ya? Hmm? Yeah, good lad. <laughs> he likes to... He likes to see everything, don't you, mate? Hey? Let's turn the camera around a little bit so we can see this... This spot. Uh-oh. Out the way. That's it. What we'll do now is we'll screw that there.
it's nice and strong. Ah. That's good. I like that. So what we've got there, this is where this end comes through. Here. I've left that over running and this one has run straight past. So it's catching the end of the back of the log and sitting on there, which gives it a bit more support. So we'll get a screw in there. I think we're going to run out of six inch screws. I think we're going to run out of six inch screws, so I might have to bring some more in next time when I uh, come back, when I get time. Hopefully in the week. So now guys, you've got this sticking past there. A little bit of a trip hazard. But what we are to do is I'm going to build something here. And you can actually sit there now, so you've got a little bit of a, an end there, which is great. Back uh, I think what we'll do, so I'll try and get this with some nails. Oh, can't get a fix there with that. Oh, it's, it's a bit heavy anyway, so let's cut that off. Let's cut that off first. 
take it back that way so we've got something thinner to fix too. <coughs> So uh, just cut that side off guys, that end, because it's really thick and I'm struggling to get a 6 inch screw through and get a fix in. So we'll cut that off there, we'll make this about the same there, the dog at some point I'm going to make a little seated area. Huh? I did have a friend helping me do this. He helped me cut some some dead full down and he helped me get it over for a few hours the other week. But uh, it was just something that I wanted to build from day one on my own. Um, and I just want to build it the way I want to build it. Hey, that, baba. He is. He is. You want your dinner? Huh? That's a good lad. Definitely gonna have to get some more screws. Bring them back next time we come. Won't be yank. But for now, if I can screw this up here, straighten it up. Get another timber in. One more six inch, let's have a look. Nope, none. Oh, I'm gonna miss. Uh, we've got a four inch, couple of, couple of four inches there. I know what there is. Is that a supported that and now, and we can lift this end up to suit? That's great. So, we'll have that. Looks like we've got another log on from there to there. And all plastic and hang get your bum out of the way of the camera we can get another length on there wrap the plastic down the sides and then just build them up what i don't want to do really is spend too much time building the structure of it The sides are coming on. We can get one, probably two more through on that side. We can start doing that side and around the back. I think I'm going to run out of screws. What are you doing? Let's move these gloves out of the way. Guys, just a little a lantern I brought with me. I don't know if you've ever seen these things before, but the battery's going on this now, but this has lasted forever and a day. So you got sort of two, you got that, then you got another one, and then a really bright one. Look, so the battery's going. That's what that's flashing red. But you can also hold it and just have it on a red glow around the fire. It's really good. So I've just brought it with me today. When the battery's going in, I've got some spare batteries, so now I'll just I'll just change them. So hang that back up for a minute. Fat 
Turn this go this camera goes a little bit back this way. Yep. So I want to start working on this side here now. All along there, along the back. So now we've got these supports in there, and there we can screw supports from there straight down. So we've got our wall. We've got our wall pieces straight down there, length along there, length along there. And all we can do then is just use the shorter pieces which is going to be easy to work with but it's coming together well, this is this is my favorite spot i've been coming over here for about about eight years i got into bushcraft about four years ago i um, been collecting my stuff over about a four year period built a tp over the other side which i'll i'll take you to see but i say i was going to take you to go and see it it's uh it's actually ripped, we've ripped it down there completely to use it, I think I mentioned earlier on, to use some of the timbers on this and some of the uh, some of the plastic, some of the waterproofing plastic, DPC, damp proof course, they use it in concrete floors, so wrapping it around this structure, it should last for a few years without rotting or letting water through. Say hello. Say hello. Who's that? Ooh. You're a good lad, ain't you? You are. Right. Let's get a tape. And let's get some lengths. So we want that across there. We want about 100 and 132. 132. Let's take this axe a minute. Put that shape back on there. It's important to keep all this stuff together, guys. When it starts going dark, the last thing I want to do is lose stuff. <laughs> Last time I was, I was there, I lost a little uh, windproof lighter. But you see that as well. That was the first time I didn't bring my first aid kit out with me, and that was after that. I wasn't even using it. I put it down, and as I picked it up, it slipped across my finger, and I didn't have my first aid kit. Losing stuff. Where's that saw gone? Right, so where's my silky gone? Oh, I put it in that bag. Bad for that. So the last thing I'm gonna be doing is losing that bad boy.
That'll go along there. No, not for you. Not for you. Ah! Oh, some more screws. We're running out of these now. Yeah. We're running out of them. So what we'll do now, screw that to that. You're all watching, don't you? Come on. Hank, come out of the way of the camera. Move your fat bum. That's this. Just a quick look at the time. When it's a three, so we've got a couple of hours max. A couple of hours max, and it'll be pretty dark. I don't know how much more I'm going to do today. That's quite good. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Very dark. Very dark. Well, guys, what we're going to do is I'm going to get two more lengths up, a length across there now, and another length across the back. So let's have a look at this. Now, all these are sitting together now, so they're supporting each other's weight. And come out the way. So we want another 132 around there, 32 inches. It doesn't really matter how we screw that there. Let's, let's check the back of this camera. Yeah. So, we'll put this up, we'll screw this across. I've just checked the back of the camera, guys, and that battery, I'm not sure how long it's going to last. I did charge it up, but I obviously didn't get a full charge. So, let's screw this up.
what we'll do here guys is we'll start a screw off just to make it a bit easier for us And lift that up there, something like that. Oh, it's getting there, it's definitely getting there. 